Well, key challenge with, with making a, a resilient future is really integrating the different silos, if you will, or disciplines from, from power, from water, from the environment, the built environment, urban mobility, how we move around. And, and you really need someone who, who sees through all those lenses, and that's, that's really what WSP is trying to do, because moving forward, technology, uh, the environment, our challenges are requiring a more unified approach to solving these challenges. Right here in this region, we have the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District. It is one of the biggest asset holders in the country. We have the largest water reclamation plant in the world. The fact that we would spend any money on coal makes no sense at all. We are essentially paying to pollute our air. We are paying to contribute to childhood asthma. We are paying to contribute to climate change. When we think about critical infrastructure and resilience, how will access be equitable so that no consumer or community is left out? WSP has so many interdisciplinary engineers, planners, and architects working in various aspects of climate change and decarbonization. And in addition, resiliency is a really big focus right now. Decarbonization of our city is only possible when sectors and stakeholders come together to operate as a united force. The Port Authority is redesigning their three major airports. A zero carbon airport really is a starting point. It's an ambition. How to get there is, is really unclear. And so I think it's helpful to bring a lot of different stakeholders together. And we need to discuss a way to work with the city, with the FDNY, that these high intensity batteries allow us to not only shift load or rather replace our loads for several hours, but potentially several days. The reality is we have to act now. We have to act within the next 12 months. Governor Baker made a commitment that it'll be a carbon neutral Massachusetts by 2050. Part of the challenge is we have to come up with a way to articulate that, engage the stakeholders, and come up with an, a workable plan before the next state of the Commonwealth. When we have catastrophic events that do occur, who is impacted most? Those that are most vulnerable. When I listen to the individuals in the room, and I'm going to highlight a few, the Department of Energy and the Environment, the Public Service Commission representative, some of our contract partners, and I only highlight those for a particular region as well as aid. It's about partnership and it's about working together because we cannot do it alone. WSP is very focused on being forward-leaning and what we call future-ready. Uh, so trying to think not just what the challenges are today, but what will they be 10 years from now, 20 years from now.